Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I have for you a late night Stitch Fix unboxing for January. So yes, I didn't get a Stitch Fix in December, but I put off my one for January till late because of Christmas and I really didn't want to spend a lot of money. And for my note for this, guys, I honestly don't even remember what I put. I think I put something on the lines of send me a lazy mom fix because my girl Beth, when she requested that, that fix was the bomb. So I asked for, I think, for a lazy mom fix on a budget and I've been asking for pieces on a budget because y'all know a Stitch Fix, the budget pieces are still out of the budget. So gotta keep it as low as possible. And I asked for tunics, I think, with leggings. So let's see what's in the box. It's a bigger box than what I usually get. So I'm hoping there's a pair of jeans in there because I've still been looking for jeans that I haven't been able to get successfully as of yet. All right, so the kiddos are in bed. Like I said, it's late, so I'm going to try to do this fast because honestly, guys, it is Friday. You'll be watching this, I think, on Saturday or Sunday, and I'm exhausted. So I want to get this box done because it's been sitting since yesterday, and y'all know we can't let Stitch Fix boxes sit. So, all right, so I'm going to read my card at the end. I'm going to look at my invoice at the end. There's my bag. So let's get this bundle out of here. And she did send me some jeans, and my bundle is falling apart, y'all. Like, it is not a good burrito like it usually is. So, yeah, it's falling apart. I promise I have not peeked. There's the bundle. So, let's get into it and see what she sent me. And one thing she sent me, I saw someone else unbox, and I put this on my Pinterest board because it's just so darn cute. And I think I'm, oh, I know who it was. Um, Vanessa, Lemonade Mom. All right, so I think she had this on her last fix that I saw. And it is the polka dot back sheer top. And I just thought it was so stinking adorable when she put it on. This is the Pixley Dido Mixed Print Knit Top in gray medium. So super cute. And I know I can probably wear that with leggings. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out, guys. Love polka dots of any shape and form. So loving that. All right, next thing I've got, which just looks plain to me. I'm not really about spending $50 on plain stuff from Stitch Fix, I have to tell y'all. This is the Staccato Sessi Raw Edge Knit Top and Coral. And I don't know if that's long enough for leggings or not. And it's got a V-neck. I'm not, I mean, I have some V-necks, guys, but I'm not, like, too big on a V-neck. But it does look like it has, like, a little high-low going on there. And it's, like, a waffle kind of texture. And I do like the coral color, but, I mean, I can see where she would put that in there for maybe spring. But not sure about that. Let's see what's next. All right, this is cute, but it looks small. Like, y'all know, every time I unbox these, I've always think that the pieces are small. This is the Love Appella Harriet Woven Hem Knit Top in Navy. And it's, I have to say, guys, I love the floral detail at the bottom, but it feels like stretchy, I don't know, kind of like cheap material. I don't know, like scuba material. I don't know. But pretty, pretty detail at the bottom, guys, as y'all can see. Loving that floral detail. So I'll try it on and see how it looks. All right, what is this? This is the Skies Are Blue. She seems like she always sends me a Skies Are Blue. And plaid is like all the rage, but I think I have enough plaid. I'm kind of over it, to be honest. <laughs> but that's not bad. I probably look cute with like maybe some black leggings and some boots. So this is the Skies Are Blue Rosalini One Pocket Tunic. And I did ask her for tunic, so... That's pretty cute, but it doesn't look like super long. Like, I like my tunics to be like way long with my leggings. We shall see. <clears throat> and the last thing I have is some jeans, and they are distressed. I don't know if they're boyfriend yet, but remember that one pair, guys, that I got, and I was like, I cannot wear that because the distressing is too much. But this one actually looks like she took in consideration like the strings, how they come all the way across, and it's just not just one big open hole like I talked about before. So I've been dying for some distressed jeans, and I can't find them anywhere locally, so I'm relying on Stitch Fix to get me some distressed jeans. They are stretchy, and let me tell y'all what they are. This is the Just USA, I've not heard that brand from Stitch Fix, LA Crop Slim Straight Leg Jeans. So I'm not sure about the crop. Um, I would like a, like a full-length jean and even the boyfriend fit, but I think she's kind of transitioning me into spring is what she's trying to do. But even the back guys has some distressing on the back there, so these are super cute. I'm really digging these, but I have a feeling they're gonna be like million dollar. 
So we shall see. All right, guys, so let's look at the card real quick, and we'll get to your favorite part, the try-on. So she says, hey, Nicole, Happy New Year. Can you believe where you've been together for eight months now? I know, right? It doesn't seem like we've been together that long, but I, I think like May it's been that long. Time flies when you're busy dressing fabulous. As we head into the new year, I put in more layerable pieces to try. I know you're still looking for those perfect boyfriend jeans, and we're unfortunately still out of stock on the Kates you sent back. I know, total bummer. Yes, total bummer, Caitlin, for sure. We just got in the Just USAs and thought they'd be a cute alternative because of the similar style and are at a lower price. Ooh, lower price, yay. Two better fit your budget, yay, Caitlin. <laughs> when I hear lower price, I'm like, ooh, I'm awake now from my late night. <laughs> Pair with the tan booties and, ugh, man, she keeps talking about those freaking tan booties. I kept them, but I sold them. So, Caitlin, if you're watching this, I did not keep the booties, girl. I sold them. Um... Pair with the tan booties and navy cargo jacket you kept in November and layer it over the skies or blue or staccato knit or pair them with a blazer and the pixley or love appella mix knits for a future few more cute looks. Man, she got a lot going on there. Have fun and feel free to peek through your Pinterest and your closet to find what you're missing and let me know. Yeah, guys, because my Pinterest, I had like literally eight things on my Pinterest board, which I have a ton on my other Stitch Fix board, but that's not the one that she sees because I was like, man, I just don't know what to request. So I even think I told her to like send me some new stuff. So... All right, so here's my card. There's the pocket tunic. There's the jeans. I'm really digging those jeans, I have to say, before I even try them on. They're kind of growing on me. There's the coral top, and there's the floral top, which y'all let me know. I mean, before I even try that on, I'm thinking I love floral. I love the floral mix patterns, but that top in particular is looking kind of matronly to me. Um, and there's the polka dot print that I like so much. All right, guys, so let's get to the try on. All right, I'm back, guys, with the coral top and the jeans. And I have got to say that I am loving these jeans. So depending on price, I think I have to keep these. But I need your opinion on one thing about them. So help me out. All right, guys, so this is the top. And this is the coral top I wasn't so, like, thrilled about. But it is long enough, guys, to where I can wear with leggings, I think. Y'all let me know. But it's covering the bootay, so that's all good. And it is long enough in the front. It's kind of flowy. Um, and I've talked about that before, that sometimes our tops can be a little bit big. But I think this one's meant to be big. And it kind of like slenders out right here. So I'm kind of liking that. Not so much a big fan of the V-neck. But it's got a cute detail in the back. I know you can see it's got like a line piping going across the back. So that's kind of pretty that I missed. So and let's look at these. These are the jeans, guys. So they have the distressing on there. And here's another view. And... Remember I told y'all about the whole guy, so it does look, but it's got the threads going across, and that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, let me back up so you can see a little bit better. I don't have a good view, guys, for the jeans. There we go. All right, so there's the jeans. Y'all let me know what you think about them. And I'm really liking them, though. I like the color, but let me see if I can stand up here. Can y'all see? <laughs> this is going to be comical. Can y'all see the length? See how they're cropped? Is that like bad the way they look like that? Should I roll them up some so they're a little bit higher cropped? Or, you know, does this look like high waters or what? Or is this like the style? Because I'm not sure, but I kind of like that look. I think that's kind of cute. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the jeans, but I'm thinking that they are keepers. I'm liking them. And I would turn around, but I think I'm going to fall because I'm standing on a ledge. <laughs> All right, so that is the coral top and the jeans. I'm going to try something else on for you. Okay, guys, so this is the Love of Pella floral top. And I have to say that it's not screaming anything to me. It's cute, um, but it's very tight in the arms. There's no give way in the arms at all. Remember I told you it was like that spandex material. So I'm not really loving the feel of that. But I love this bottom detail. This is so pretty right here, but I just don't think I like the fabric on this. It feels kind of cheap, in my opinion, and I don't know. It's cute. It's really cute, but I just don't know. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments about this one, but I know I'm going to be tugging at these arms the whole time, and I'm not about that at all. Um, but cute effort. I like the floral pattern. Loving that. I just wish this was made out of like cotton and I would totally love it. But this spandex stuff, I'm not a big fan of that in tops. All right, let's try on some of the tunic tops, tunic tops with leggings. All right, y'all, I'm back with the polka dot back top and I paired it with leggings and some booties for y'all. Okay, so this is the 
polka dot back top. I did have to put a cami underneath it because it is extremely sheer, just like Vanessa had said on her channel, um, because I could not wear it because you could see literally everything. You know, it's like I'm naked in the back. But it's, it's very, very cute, and I'm really loving it. And y'all let me know what you think about it. So I'm just pairing it with leggings and... Let's see if I can get y'all over some. Pairing it with leggings and some booties. All right, so that is how I am pairing it. And I have it rolled up because it does have the option of rolling it up or you can just leave it down. So see, there's the little button to roll it up there. And um, I'm leaving it that way so you can see both ways, but I don't think it's too big. Um, Y'all let me know what you think about this one, but I like it because it covers the badonky donk and I can wear leggings because that's exactly what I asked her for is stuff that I can wear with leggings. So we will see. Um, I have a lot of tops that are very similar to this one right now. She did send me this one because it was on my Pinterest board, but I am liking it with the leggings and the booty combo. All right, so I have one more tunic to try on, so let's get to it. Y'all, I'm back with the last piece. This is the plaid skies are blue tunic. And I am liking this, okay? I don't think it is as long as I would like it to be as far as a tunic because y'all see I still have the cami on underneath it. It does cover it just perfectly, but I'm just not positive. And I know I've said this before on my channel when I do Stitch Fix unboxings. That's probably why I get thumbs downs. But I do feel like I can probably get the same exact tunic, these plaid tops and these plaid tunics at like... Target and at Old Navy for like half the price because these skies are blue. I guarantee it's gonna be like 50 bucks and I'm not paying 50 bucks for it. I really do like it. I think it's cute. I like the colors, especially with the leggings and all, but I just don't think that it would be probably worth the money. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think about this one. I do really like it, but is it worth it? Y'all let me know what you think about this plaid one. All right. So let's go ahead and sit down and talk about all right, y'all. So y'all know I do not look at the prices. I don't peek. So I have no idea how much all this stuff costs. So let's see. Oh, yeah. This is a cool thing, guys. If you did not know, you can use your Stitch Fix box and you can put in old clothes and they will donate them to Goodwill. And you don't even have to pay shipping to send it to Goodwill. You just put in the box. They have a shipping label that you can print out online, I believe. Yeah, it tells you all about it. And you can donate your old clothes. You don't even have to leave the house and do it. So that's pretty awesome that they're doing that now. Pretty cool. All right, let's get into the prices for this stuff. Okay, so this fix is the cheapest fix I've ever gotten. OMG. All right, so let's talk about what everything is. So the Sakato Sessi Raw Edge Knit Top. That's got to be this one. I'm pretty sure. This one in coral, yes, this one's $44. So that's usually the cheapest that you can get a Stitch Fix top is about $44. I think $38 is the cheapest I've ever seen. Um, the Pixley top, this one, $58, guys, for the polka dot one. I do like it, but is it worth $60? Bucks? Definitely not. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, the Skies Are Blue um, tunic top, what did I tell you guys? This one right here, $58, $58 for this top. No, no, not when you can go to Old Navy and I'll get it for like 25 bucks max. The Love Appella Hem Top, which is not a bad price, $44, but I did not like the fabric on this. If this blue would have been cotton, I would have been sold, but no. And the jeans, guys, OMG, this is like the cheapest jeans I've ever seen from Stitch Fix, guys. These are $58. These are definitely staying with me. I love these jeans. I thought they were so cute. Y'all let me know what you thought about them. And I think they're going to be good for spring being they have the crop on there. And, you know, we don't have much of a winter where I live anyway. So that works out perfect. So my subtotal is $262. The buy five discount if I bought everything would be $65.50. And the $20 styling fee. So the whole box, if I kept everything, would be $176.50, which, like I said, is the cheapest I've ever gotten a box. So Caitlin, you did an awesome job with keeping me within budget, and you did give me stuff on my Pinterest board, so I appreciate that, and you did listen to everything. She always does. She's a really great stylist, um, but I don't think I'm going to keep everything, so y'all let me know what your favorite piece was, but I think I'm, I know I'm definitely keeping the jeans because I got a gift card for Christmas, and this is something that I need. This is something in my closet, a staple that I definitely need, not so much that it's like, oh, a luxury piece, but I definitely need jeans, like super bad. I've been asking her for them. And like I told y'all, I've been looking for those locally cheaper and I can't find any. Um, and the other stuff, guys, I'm just not sure. Um, I'm actually going to pull some other pieces real quick before I leave and show you that are similar to Stitch Fix, but for like way 
less. So let me pull those for you. Before I let y'all go, guys, I just want to inform y'all about the Jane.com and it's a Jane app on your phone on iPhone or Android. I have Android, so it's on the Android. And you can get all kinds of stuff besides clothes, but I have bought so many clothes and they have tons of stuff that looks just like the Stitch Fix styles, I must say. And I, my girl Krista on here, I had shown her some pieces after my last box, I was disappointed with my last fix. And I saw all these pieces that were so comparable to my fix for like way less. And I was showing her and she's like, is that reliable, the Jane? Because she's heard good things about it too. And I was like, yes, girl, because I've bought stuff from it. And I mean, I'll have to do a whole video on Jane products that I've bought, but I have a ton of clothes and they're really, really cheap and really, really nice quality, just like Stitch Fix. So this is one thing that I bought, guys. This is a plaid top. So look, I have a plaid top on right here. This one's way longer and it's super cute. I've been wearing it with gray leggings. And guys, this was like 20 bucks shipped to the house. Yes, okay, so... Y'all can see in comparison, it's the same quality as far as fabric, same kind of cut and style, 20 bucks. And then this one I also got, I thought it was super cute. It's got the high-low with the plaid on it, and it's got the red elbow patches on the back. How cute is that? And this one was $26 shipped to the house. So y'all can see $26 versus the cheapest $44 with Stitch Fix. So I definitely recommend Jane. If you have not been on Jane.com, definitely check it out because they have stuff very comparable to Stitch Fix. So you're probably wondering, well, why the hell are you still getting boxes? <laughs> it's because um, I really like Stitch Fix and they their quality is a little bit nicer than Jane, but Jane is like right there, I have to say. So y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm definitely keeping the jeans for sure, but y'all let me know on the other pieces. And if y'all love Stitch Fix and unboxings, I'll give this video a thumbs up. And y'all um, let me know if you made Stitch, Stitch Fix videos and in the comments below, and I'll definitely go and check out your channel and watch them. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed because I do a Stitch Fix unboxing once a month or every other month. I haven't decided I'm going to keep them once a month, um, but I definitely do lots of other videos and unboxings if you're interested. So thanks for staying up with me late tonight. I think I'm going to go ahead and get my PJs and get out of all these clothes and make some decisions tomorrow and hit the hay, guys, because it was a long day at work, a long day with the kiddos tonight, and I am a pooped mommy. So until next time with another Stitch Fix video, guys, y'all have a great night, great week, great weekend. Bye.